Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the series of Java Swing GUI programming tutorials from caveofprogramming.com. In the last tutorial I added this panel to this little application here and I've added, added some components to the panel here but I've not actually made them appear on the panel and I've also set the layout to grid bag layout and created a grid bag constraints and now I'm going to show you how to use the grid bag constraints and grid bag layout to actually add the components. So uh, grid bag layout is the most flexible uh, of the layout managers but also the trickiest to use and if you learn this one you can um, practically just dispense with the rest almost. The um, thing that I'd recommend you do is try to divide your controls into kind of logical different sections in your mind and put big comments above each section in the code. So I'm going to tackle the first column of um, controls first here and I'm going to have some labels down here, two labels in a column and then here I'll have text fields on the right hand side and underneath I'll have a button somewhere. So. Um, the most important thing to set is the grid bag constraints, grid x and grid y. I'm going to set this equal to 0 and 0. And what this is, is you can think of your the grid bag layout manager as dividing your um, panel or whatever into a grid. And you start numbering at the upper left hand corner. So it kind of, um, the coordinate system works in the same way that uh, old style TV um, kind of retraces and for all I know the LCDs as well. That is it goes from the top left hand corner across and works down. So Y goes uh, increases going downwards and X increases going from left to right. So um, the first um, control will be I want to put this name label in the first row and first column. And I also need to set here um, not only the uh, grid x and grid y but also gc dot um, weight x and weight y I'll set that equal to um, just a half and what this is is this determines how much of the space will be allocated to your particular cell and uh, I don't think these numbers have to add up to one or anything like that um, you don't have to have all the different weights of x adding up to one for example it's just that say you have um, weight x here set to 0 0.5 and in the next row all your weight x's are set to 1 then your next row is going to take up two thirds of the space and this will take up one third so you can just kind of fill about with these till it looks right basically um, so I'll add here I'll say add name label comma gc and if I just kill that and run it again now um, we've got the name label right in the middle here because it's just one row and one column and if I say gc dot I'll retype here grid x equals um, naught and gc dot grid y equals one this time because we want to go to the next row down and I'll retype that just for clarity and then I'll say add um, I've got also got an occupation label to prompt people to enter their occupation occupation label comma GC again and I'll get rid of this space to make it clear that this is intended to apply to this. So if I run that now I've got two rows and I want to add in the next row um, some text fields sorry in the next column some text fields. Um, so I'll make a kind of note here second column and I'll say GC dot so um, we want to say grid x is going to be now equal to 1 and gc.grid y for the first control will be 0 because I want to add it in the first row. I had to think for a minute there. So I'll say um, add name field um, and gc and then I'll say gc.grid x is going to be still equal to 1 but I'll just retype it for clarity and gc.grid y is now going to be equal to 1 as well and I can say add occupation field call on gc and if I run this you can see I've got my text boxes here now I want the, um, the kind of text boxes to align over to the left and I want these labels to align over to the right and the way I can fix that is 
for the first column here I can say gc.anchor and anchor is kind of the thing that tells your controls which side to stick to and I can say grid bag constraints dot line start um, and that will make it make them stick to the left hand side um, sorry I want to say actually line end to make the label stick to the right so if I run that then they're, they're now aligned over to the right hand side and the text fields I want to make them align left so for the second column I can say GC dot anchor equals grid bag constraints dot line start okay so run this and now we've got these aligned next to each other now I don't want these well actually you know the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the, the button here at the bottom and I'm going to make the, the the grid cell containing the button take up most of the space um, so I'll say kind of final row and I'll say GC dot grid X I'm going to make equal to one because I want to put the button kind of um, underneath this kind of um, column here and I'll say GC dot grid Y equals two and I'll say add um, what do I call it add button comma GC so if I run this now I've got my button and I want to push these to the top of the form because they look a bit stupid all spaced out like this so here I'm going to say GC dot weight Y so this is the weight for the last row equals let's give it a really high value and if I run that you can see that it's um, this last thing is taking up most of the space I also want to stick this button up up here somewhere so to do that I can say GC dot anchor equals and I'll say grid bag constraints and I want to make it stick to I've got a first line I think the one I want is first line start so you've got kind of first line um, start is here first line ends here um, don't know what this would be um, well and then uh, first well this won't be anything because um, there's no anchor here right yeah I think that's right okay and then you've got um, line start here line end here and last line start last line end there so um, enough wittering so you'll see how that works out and that looks I think not too bad although certainly we could do plenty more with this um, and uh, for the moment um, I think I'm gonna leave it there there are there are lots of other things you can use um, with um, grid bag constraints lots of other fields that are that, that will be handy for you and probably the, the most handy would be um, I haven't mentioned for example GC dot fill um, which you can set to um, fill horizontal fill vertical or um, or none and it's set to none at the moment but if I said for example both that would make my controls um, try to fill up the entire grid like that so it's no, it's no good for a button but obviously some if it's a text field or something that could be really useful okay so now we've got a reasonably presentable kind of form here and um, you have probably been wondering how to connect this form to to the kind of the rest of the program and make it actually do stuff and um, what I'm going to do in the next tutorial is I'm going to show you how to implement your own um, events so that this form can fire events and we're going to have a controller which is just going to be the main frame class that will listen to those events and then fill stuff in here in response to those events and uh, I'm also going to get rid of this um, button because it um, I just kind of put that in originally just to kind of have something to show you and uh, so next time as I say we'll look at custom events and we'll continue to work on this app so join me then and until then happy coding <laughs>